In this walkthrough, we're going to demonstrate insomnia when used for making gRPC calls. To do this, we're going to build a quick and simple gRPC server to handle unary, client streaming, and service streaming requests. Our server will reach out to the free Open Notify API to get information about the International Space Station, returning some of that data to our Insomnia client when it asks. Because the focus of this walkthrough is on using Insomnia, we're only going to review our different pieces of server code rather than write it together from scratch. The GitHub repository with all of this server code is publicly available. On our local machine, we initialized a project using Yarn, and we added three packages which we'll be using. We have gRPC's protoloader, gRPC, and Axios. Our package.json file is super simple. All in all, our server code includes four files. We'll step through them one at a time. The space station.proto file is our protocol buffer file, which gives the client and the server a common specification for communication. Our service exposes three RPCs, three methods. We have a getAstronautCount method. The client sends an empty request body, and the server sends back a body with an integer called count. This is a unary RPC, simple client request and server response. Next, we have getAstronautNames, which is a client streaming RPC. In this method, the client will stream in a list of astronaut index integer values. Once the client commits the stream, the server will respond with a single string called names, which will be a comma-separated string of astronaut names corresponding to the index values given. Finally, we have getLocation. In this server streaming RPC, the client sends an integer called seconds, and the server will stream back responses at that interval. So if the client provides a body with seconds equal to 3, it's essentially saying, get me the location every 3 seconds, and the streaming server will send back data every 3 seconds. That response data will include a timestamp and the current geo-coordinates of the International Space Station. Next, we have spacestation.js. This is just a wrapper that uses the gRPC and protoloader packages to load and compile the protocol buffer file to put it into a format consumable by our Node.js server. As we mentioned earlier, the server will be making a few HTTP requests to open Notify to its free API with up-to-date information on the International Space Station. This module simply abstracts away those HTTP requests by using Axios, packaging up our response data based on what our server will need. Lastly, we put all the pieces together in server.js. This file represents the server's implementation of the three RPCs defined in the protocol buffer file. When using the gRPC package to build a server, we add a service that corresponds to a protocol buffer specification, and then we provide an implementation for each of those RPCs. An RPC implementation, when called, receives call and callback parameters. For our getAstronautCount implementation, for example, we don't care about the input, so we ignore the call parameter. We call our Axios request to get the astronauts list, and we extract out the count from that call. Then we send a response to the client by calling callback and providing an object with a count as the second argument. For our getAstronautNames implementation, we listen for onData events from the client, since this is a client streaming RPC. Every time there's data, which should be our astronaut index, we push that index onto our list of index values that we'll need. Once we get an onEnd event, meaning the client is done sending index values, then we call our helper method, getAstronautNamesAsArray, with our array of indices. That method sends the Axios request and puts together an array of names corresponding to the index values we provided. The server's work is done, so it calls callback and passes back an object with names, which takes that array of names and joins it together as a comma-separated string. Lastly, for getLocation, which is a server streaming RPC, we first call the Axios request for getting the current location, then we call call.write, passing it that data. This streams back our first response from the server to the client. Then, based on the value for seconds, which the client may have provided in the request body, we set a timeout to wait that many seconds and then do this all over again. 
get the current location, write it to the stream, and then wait that many seconds again, and so on, until the client closes the connection. When the server receives that on-canceled event, it clears the timeout to stop the repetition, and then it stops its work. Our gRPC server is set to listen on port 4500, and that's it. With all the pieces in place, we can start up our server by running node server.js. In Insomnia, we'll create a new request collection and give it a name. And then we'll create a new request and give that a name. We'll make sure to select gRPC as the method. Since this is a gRPC, the client needs to see the protocol buffer file so that it has a specification for how to communicate with the server. We click on Add Proto File and navigate to our spacestation.proto file. We select it and we click on Save. Again, our server is listening on localhost 4500. First, we're going to look at the unary RPC, which is our get astronaut count method. We choose that from the list of methods. The request body is empty. All we need to do is click send, and much like an HTTP request, it sends the request and the server responds. We see the response here with a count equal to seven. There are currently seven astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Next, we'll demonstrate the client streaming RPC. For that, we choose get astronaut names from our method list. Then we click Start. At this point, the server is waiting for all of the streamed in requests from the client. We'll stream three pieces of data. Our request body is an object with an index value. We'll set the index to three for our first request and add it to the stream. Next, we set the index to one and add that to the stream. Then we'll set the index to six and add that to the stream. With those three requests streamed to our server, we click on Commit which tells the server that the client is done streaming in data, and now it can send back its response. And there, we see the server respond with the names of the astronauts corresponding to index values 3, 1, and 6. Lastly, we'll demonstrate the server streaming RPC in Insomnia. We choose the getLocation method from our list. The request body is an object with a key called seconds. We'll set seconds equal to 2, by doing this, we're telling the server that we want its stream to send back responses every two seconds. We click on Start, and there we see every two seconds we're getting a response. Whenever we'd like, we click on Cancel to stop the stream. And there, we can see the five responses that have come through. And that concludes our demonstration of using Insomnia as a gRPC client. We demonstrated a simple gRPC server to handle unary, client streaming, and server streaming RPCs. Insomnia also handles bidirectional streaming RPCs, though we did not cover it in this walkthrough video. Thank you for joining us.